All right, so for this third warm-up problem, actually, um, we have the stuff here from the second problem. Uh, in this case, we're using the data from the second problem in the third problem, so this is basically a spoiler for the second problem. So if you haven't done the second problem already, I implore you to go back, uh, do the problem, uh, get what we got here, and then come back uh, because these are interrelated. So. Um, this is basically the same problem, right? We have 100 grams of water. We have 150 grams of that other fluid that we were talking about. Everything, you know, the densities are the same. But in this problem, they're asking what the specific gravity of the resulting mixture is, right? So we have everything. We calculated the average um, uh, specific volume. And they want to know what the specific gravity is. Now, specific gravity is really easy to calculate. Um... So the specific gravity is, scroll down a little bit here. Let's see, where's my scroll bar? Here it is. So what we need to know is the specific gravity, right? So the specific gravity usually denoted SG for short is going to be equal to the density of our mixture divided by the density of water. Right, so that's all it is. Specific gravity is based on the density of water, right? So we know the density of our mixture we already calculated from the second problem is 0 0.86 grams per cubic centimeter. Again, this is really easy. Divided by, well, what's the density of water in grams per, uh, per cubic centimeter? Well, that's easy. That's just one gram per cubic centimeter. And obviously, this divided by one is so the specific gravity is going to be... Uh, 0.86 so that is the specific gravity of our little mixture from the second problem so I know a lot of people throw this this term specific gravity around and talk about it a lot um, and explaining different things without really understanding what it is and so I personally think that there's going to be um, on, uh, well, I'm going to do a, a separate video on specific gravity because I feel it needs to be explained, especially in fluid mechanics. Um, and so, so yeah, definitely look for that in the near future. And uh, hopefully this video helped you and we will see you all in the, uh, the next one.